my channel, it's been a long time. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about the TP-Link Deco X20. So there's a reason why I chose the X20 above other devices like the X60 or strong, stronger competitors with higher speeds. And the reason is quite simple, stick around to the end and I'll explain to you why. So what is a mesh network? A mesh network is basically a group of devices that's acting as one Wi-Fi instead of having for example one access point where your device needs to connect to and maybe you move to another access point and you need to reconnect to that device if it's not happening automatically. Whereas with the mesh network is that all your um, access points will act as one network or one single device you could say for that matter. So when you are moving with your mobile for example one floor to another floor it will reconnect to the next uh, access point automatically and it will just be a seamless connection. Um, what's the advantage of this? It's you're just eliminating all the dead spots in the house as well. Um, in my house I had a lot of dead spots. I have uh, three floors to go through and one access point is simply just not enough. And uh, by just adding these three, um, I chose the, the pack with three, adding them to the house I immediately resolved all dead zones, every single thing. Actually I have zones covered which I was not planning to cover with Wi-Fi so that's that's always nice to have and uh, basically you always stay connected and some other specifications that uh, you will need to know about this devices is each device has two LAN ports so I'm gonna now it's currently it's plugged in you can see the green light um, I'm gonna show you basically once it's plugged out uh, it's not so difficult you have two LAN ports, the power plug port, and all three of the devices is identical. So when you get to your setup, um, you use one of the ports on the device that's going to be connected to your internet service router, um, router. The installation is very quick. You just find your internet service provider router and you plug it in one of the ports in the LAN at the back. And then you plug it into your Deco X20. Uh, let me show you in which port I've plugged it in. As you can see, I just choose, chose one of the LAN ports available at the back. So you'll just plug it in and basically follow the steps on the application. Choose the name of the network and a password. Um, and the level of security, you can also adapt which type of security you want. So this device is uh, part of my network and once I plug it in, it will start flashing and it will load and eventually it's going to search through the building, it will find uh, a network or the other uh, unit that's close enough for it and it will just complete the mesh, net mesh network. So having the two uh, gigabit ports at the back is super useful. I found on some other competitors in the same level with the same speeds and so on they either had no ports or one port, which was like a bit of a bummer because I think two is the minimum you need because if you're like having smart TV and uh, maybe you have Philips U, you need to connect and other smart devices, which is always better to have a fixed port. Maybe you're doing some gaming and you have your uh, console, your smart TV, and uh, I don't know, the, the next devices that you need to connect. So. Some of you might say, yeah, but two is still not enough. So it's very easy. You get yourself one of these TP-Link switches. It's with five ports. It will help you to just expand to the amount you need. You can get bigger than this as well. Um, to do the setup is very quickly. So for the purpose of the video, I'll just leave it here on the top of the TV cabinet. Power it up. It's almost instantly. Then uh, with your box of uh, Deco X20, you have received one cable and just use that. And it really doesn't matter which port you choose. And uh, in my house, I need a, one for my smart TV, one for my Xbox, and one for my Philips U. 
one of the more important features that you have to look at is the MU MIMO. So what does that stand for? That multi-user, multi-input, multi-output technology. What it enables you to do is there's no queues. You can have all your devices just receiving and sending the data at the same time. One other thing that I really like about the devices is you can connect up to 150 devices to it. Now, if you're into some sort of smart home setups and you're really starting to do little smart home modifications in your house, you may be adding some Wi-Fi switches for the light. Um, first of all, if you don't have your full house covered with Wi-Fi, you always have um, yeah, you always have a device disconnecting, you need to reconnect it, there's always issues or you're overloading. Now a full mesh network, you'll cover everywhere and at the same time you can connect 150 devices. So you're not going to have 150 mobile devices or computers and laptops. But at the end when you're starting to do some uh, smart home modifications and you have one Wi-Fi switch here and there, um, at least this is going to be for you. Another thing that's great with these devices is um, I have one set up right next to my TV, so they're a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than other uh, Wi-Fi devices, you know, with this old, it looks like a spaceship next to your TV. With this, it, you know, it's just a little bit better. So with this the DP link, you have the application, which is so nice to have because with the application, you can set up also very quickly a guest network. You can manage that guest network. You can see who's logging in and who's logging out. You can also track the amount of data you're using. You can limit devices. Um, the options is really endless on the application. Whereas with your internet service provider, you don't get an application probably and you can't do much. You can maybe track your data, the, the amount you're using, but at the end, you don't have real full control on the, on the network. I chose the three pack because like I have explained, I have three levels in my house and it all needs to be covered. So uh, this has up to 540 uh, square meters coverage. So that was like really the maximum I needed. Um, maybe it's a little bit of an overkill to be honest. Two devices are strong and I must admit, these devices are connected between concrete floors so, and the concrete floors are quite thick. What you can do as well is you can create your own name very quickly. You can change names, change passwords. Um, with a guest network, what's nice is it's separate from your network. You can set one separate password for it. So if you have maybe some friends over at your home, you just uh, maybe can leave it without a password. And by the end, they leave your house or whenever, you can just switch off the guest network. So it gives you like a little bit of peace of mind. You don't need to share your passwords with everybody constantly when they're coming home. In the application, you can choose to prioritize certain devices, um, which is definitely nice because if you prioritize a device, it will always achieve, uh, let's say, the optimal speeds that it can give to that said device. And at the same time, what you can do is you can essentially change on the application that this device does not move around. What does that mean for you? Is this laptop, for example, it will be always in the office. Okay, it doesn't need to try to search for the other uh, mesh network points. It will always just directly connect to the office network point. Also with the TP-Link uh, units, and this is not just on the X20, probably you will find it on the other Deco models as well. It comes with a, the TP-Link home care, so actually the device itself has a uh, antivirus, which is great because it just gives you an extra peace of mind. Any sort of attacks or hacks that's happening, it's getting managed. So make sure that you have some proper antivirus installed on the important devices. Um, also, you can have parental controls, which is great because you can limit devices. Like, how long do you want your child to be online? Okay, he has reached his one hour limit, that's it. These are small things that you do have benefits from. So, now you ask me, what is Wi-Fi 6? Wi-Fi 6 is basically just the latest specification standard. Um, Samsung and Apple has already been implementing Wi-Fi 6 with their flagship model devices. 
uh, late 2019 so it's very likely that your phone already has Wi-Fi 6 in um, laptops it's on a slower development but all your new models you will have that uh, so it's always nice being future ready be future proof when you're upgrading at least your devices are ready to accept a Wi-Fi 6 bandwidth um, what is the benefit uh, lower latency or as you know it it's also lower ping um, it can be up to 75% down uh, so ping is basically that is the delay on the amount of time that it will take for information to travel from one point to the next before upgrading to the Deco X20 I had a speed of 7.3 download and 6.5 upload which was very slow my internet service provider is only giving me 80 megabytes download and 20 megabytes upload and as you can see after the installation of the Deco X20 I was achieving nearly exactly what my internet service provider should be giving me which is 80 megabytes download and 20 megabytes upload so unfortunately I'm limited to the maximum speed of my internet service provider and that might be the same case for you so make sure you check out with your internet service provider what is the speeds that you should be getting so is this the device for you it might be check with your internet service provider what is the speed you're actually getting what are you paying for if you're paying to only have a speed of 20 megabytes or 100 megabytes or 300 megabytes what's the point of going anything higher than what's needed because you can never surpass the 300 megabyte speed that you're getting so I'm hoping to upgrade from my internet service provider to another one in order to take some benefit from these speeds but more than that I don't need the house is full with uh, devices we're all using constantly each point and there's no issues and if you have liked this video and you have received the information you needed please don't forget to hit like and subscribe